Hi, fourth graders. I hope this is helpful for you and your families on um, figuring out how we do the um, partition rectangle method for multiplication. This really sets up partial products well and really helps us understand place value when we multiply. So I hope this video is helpful. Um, let's take a look at the problem 48 times 7 and we're trying to discover what that equals. Um, well, how we solve this is we, we create a rectangle and then of course we draw a line through the rectangle separating the tens and the ones. After we do this, we look at the number 48 and we need to decompose or break this number into tens and ones. So what I like to do is make a 40 here above my tens and then of course above my ones is the eight because, because 40 plus eight does equal 48 and now we've decomposed and broke that number so it works for our rectangle. Then we take a look at the seven and we put it right over here and since this is not a double digit number and we're just dealing with a one here which will be multiplied into the tens and the other one that's all we need to do with the seven. Um, now let's go ahead and multiply our numbers and if you do times seven times four we get 28 and of course this is not just seven times four it's seven times 40 and that's why we will bring our put our zero on here because we're really not just multiplying seven times four we're, we're doing seven times 40, which is 280. Now, of course, we look at our 8 times 7, or 7 times 8, and that is 56. If you don't know that math fact, you could go 7 times 7 is 49, and of course, add another 7 on to that, or use some of the tricks we've used in class, and counting by multiples of 7 or such. So we'll put our 56 here. Now, all you simply do is take the numbers and line them up. We have 280, and then we're going to add 56 to that. And when we do that, we get... 336 for our answer. Um, and so the answer to 48 times 7 is 336. Um, try this out and follow along, and hopefully this is helpful. Um, what we'll do now is move on to the double digit. So if you don't want to jump right away into the double digit, you can do practice the single digit first and then go on to the double digit. But that's our next step here. Um, and how we do double digit is we just simply um, make our rectangle bigger and we add another layer. So for my double digit number, I have 57 times 23. So what I'm doing is I'm adding another layer onto my rectangle. And I still need to separate that tens and ones. So you can see my rectangle now um, is separated tens and ones for both numbers because both numbers have a tens and one in them. And once again, I'm going to decompose 57. And so 50. Um, tens and seven ones is 50 plus seven is 57. And then now I have to look at the 23 and decompose that also. So I'm going to have 20 tens there and three ones. 20 plus three is 23. And when I multiply these numbers, I'm going across with this 20, multiplying um, 20 to 50 and then to seven. And then the same thing with the three. I'm going to go and multiply my three into my 50 and then... Um, 3 times 7, and you'll see how it all works out here. So first, let's go 20 times 50, and the answer to that is 1,000, because um, you could use 2 times 5 and add those zeros like we've learned in class, and because we know that we're multiplying at 20 and 50, we have to make sure we keep track of those zeros. Um, and then we can look at this as 2 times 7, which would give us 14, but it's really 7 times 20, which would give us 140 here. Now we move down to the next layer, which is the 3, and we're going 3 50s here, or 3 times 5 is 15 at a 0. Either way, it's 150. Um, and then 3 times 7 is 21. Now, what I like to do is I like to take these numbers and then at, line them up. So I'm going to put my 1,000, and then I put my 150, and then I can put my 140, and then I'm going to put my 21, and then I'm going to add them all up. Make sure the place values are lined up correctly. And, of course, there's the 1. And this is an 11, so I'm going to carry my 1. Um, when I go 5 plus 4 plus 2 is 11. And then I add those together. I get my 3. And then, of course, my answer is 1,311. So you can see that even double-digit multiplication can be used with this method. And it does a nice job of separating out place values and gives us an idea of... Um, how to decompose numbers and sets us up really well for um, partial products or partial sums later on.
which I will show you later. So I hope this is helpful. You and just keep practicing working at this method. It does really help you understand place value. Enjoy.